Hey, good morning and welcome back. We're at Malachi chapter 4 and we're at verse 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Wow. So remember, Elijah on Mount Carmel, go back to 1 Kings 18 if you want to remember that. There was a showdown between all the false prophets there, about eight or 900 of them, and the true prophet, the one true prophet of God, Elijah. And what happened? Israel was called to a decision about who really is the real God. Which God are they really going to serve? God called his people to a decision. What happened when Jesus came? Well, again, John the Baptist, Jesus said he was kind of like Elijah, if you'll receive it. Because what did he do? He called Israel to a decision. He said, Jesus is the Messiah. You need to accept him. And so there was an Elijah message Back in the time of Elijah, there was an Elijah message when Jesus came. Jesus is the Messiah. Accept him, yes or no. And there's an Elijah message at the end of time also when those who are living just before Jesus, literal, visible, audible, personal, actual, literal second coming comes, there's a time when there's a group of people who we are actually giving an Elijah-like message. And so this is an important thing for us. We're so glad that God would allow us to take this message to the world. A great day of judgment is coming. Earth is approaching that just super rapidly. We need to help people come right with God before that day comes. So God is calling all believers today, all believers, everyone, to give an Elijah message. And this is a prophecy about believers at the end of time. This is a prophecy about you and I, whoever you are. God wants us to be right and give this prophetic style message right before Jesus comes. What a privilege. What a powerful privilege. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we want to give this message with zeal, with, with uh, full intelligence. We want to give it in a way that is uh, striking and stirring, in a way that is in full harmony with the Bible. Give us wisdom and guidance so that we can give a truly biblically sound message at these last days. We ask for your help in this, Lord. We ask for your power for this in Jesus' name. Amen. So friend, God be with you today as we live and give an Elijah message.